What's up guys, yesterday Team Sweeney, the creator of Unreal Engine and Fortnite, sat down for an interview with Lex Fridman, and he revealed some insane news about the future of Unreal Engine, including what's coming in Unreal Engine 6. So first off, what did Tim say about Unreal Engine 6? Well, Tim stated that it's still a couple of years away. We're talking about a preview release in maybe two or three years, but the ideas behind it are already huge. One of the biggest goals with UE6 is to finally break the single threaded nature of game simulation in Unreal. Team also talked about AI. He said that Epic doesn't see AI as a replacement for artists or devs, but as a multiplier. The idea is that AI could handle repetitive or technical tasks, so you can spend more time just being creative. He even mentioned merging AI with scene graph systems in the engine. So AI wouldn't just edit images or textures, but directly interact with objects in your level. And this is what I've been saying for a long time through my podcast, interviews, and videos. AI is a tool that you need to learn how to use effectively to speed up your process. It's just a little robot that helps you. Coming back to scalability, Sweden's vision is to support tens of millions of players in one shared simulation. Not lobbies, not instant servers, everyone in one persistent world. This could be a total game changer for massive multiplayer games and the future of the metaverse. He described how Fortnite events were limited by the server size, and there has to be a lot of servers, and there's just not the possibility of having a whole crowd of millions of people in one map, one server, in one world at the same time. So this is kind of the intention which is gonna be insane. I mean, this is gonna be the next level in the gaming industry. Now, all of this ties into Verse, Epic's new programming language. Verse is already being tested in Unreal Editor for Fortnite, UFN, and it's designed from the ground up for large-scale simulations. It's functional, logic-based, and built to handle concurrency without driving you insane. It uses concepts like speculative execution and transactional memory, which basically means you write simple code and the language handles all the complex, multi-threading problems behind the scenes, which is insane. Sweeney said that they even want first-time coders to be able to write stuff that scales. That's crazy. If you're thinking, wait, I don't even use Verse, well, don't worry, because it's not fully rolled out yet for Unreal Engine developers outside of the UEFN, the Unreal Editor for Fortnite but that's part of the plan for the future. He also mentioned how UE6 will merge the lessons from Verse and UFN, making gameplay programming a lot easier, not just for indie devs, but even for studios trying to hire people familiar with the engine, which is gonna open up the opportunities. Another massive thing is deployment. With UE6, they want you to be able to build a game once and ship it anywhere, as a standalone title, a Fortnite island, or both. No rebuilding your game for every platform, just click deploy and done. Which is insane. I mean, it will allow solo devs and small teams to get their game out there in all platforms, which is currently a hustle. There's also a metaverse angle. Tim's vision includes shared item economies that work across games, across platforms, through some kind of open standard. Imagine your cosmetic sword or car skin working not just in one game, but across multiple games made by different developers, that's where this is heading. Let's talk visuals. Obviously, Epic is still pushing boundaries in graphics. Nanite and Lumen are just the start. But they're also heavily interested in photorealistic digital humans. This is super difficult because the human brain is insanely good at noticing facial imperfections. That's why tools like MetaHuman Creator and Animator are getting better every year. But Tim said that this is a 50 year project. They're in it for the long haul, as you can see. And Unreal Engine isn't used for games anymore. It's already a huge part of Hollywood, automotive design, architecture, and way more. Tim made it clear they want to be the backbone of real time 3D across all industries. Now here's something I really respect. Epic's mindset hasn't changed. Since they started, their focus has always been on building tools for creators, not just games. And they are not afraid to invest heavily into the future, even if they're not making money right now. That's how they stay ahead. User-generated content. Yeah, that's the future. Epic sees a world where millions of creators contribute to massive, seamless online worlds. Think Roblox or Fortnite, but way more advanced. 
cross-platform is still a priority. Epic Online Services makes it easier for people to play together no matter what device they're on. That's part of their whole ecosystem, and it's smart. The more friends you can play with, the more valuable the game becomes. And I mean, the copies just multiply themselves, right? Because if you're going to be playing for your friends, two people are going to be playing that game minimum. And yes, Epic Games Store came up too. Despite the hate it gets for the UI or past exclusives, the store is a key part of their strategy. Their cut is 12% instead of 30% like Steam, which is way better for devs at the at the end, right? Team straight up said that charging 30% when your actual costs are 6% is an anti-competitive boy. I mean, if you think about it, Steam just has millions and millions of players in their platform already. So I guess it's just balancing things out, but that's Team's opinion. I'm not getting in there. So you figure that out. At the end of the day, everything comes back to one thing, delivering fun. Tim said it himself, games should be social, engaging, and connect you with real world friends. That's the core of it all. Of course, I guess he's mainly talking about multiplayer games, but I mean, similar experiences can link into also single player games. So yeah, Unreal Engine 6 is coming and it's not just a graphics update. We're talking better scalability, better tools, easier coding, deeper AI integration, and a whole new level of player and creator experiences. If you found this breakdown helpful, I would really appreciate it if you could like the video and subscribe to my channel. I have a lot of videos and tutorials, so check them out. I'll actually link in the description how you can start to make games in Unreal Engine 5, so make sure to check that out. And also check out my Unreal Club if you want to get serious. And now, yes, with all that said, bye-bye.